what are your favorite disciplines for healthcare? Things that you do every day. In the morning, you calm your mind and remember the Almighty oh, One. Mm. Oh God, do your meditation for a few seconds so that you'll be able not to hurt anyone and also you have the energy, the good spiritual bliss to deal with people, to teach your class, to be nice with your pets, you <laughs> understand? So that we can always be in harmony with others and giving them example the way we act. Avoid criticizing others, being nice to pets mm. and to people. Mm. I love that. Tell me what you love about teaching. I love teaching because I have the opportunity to share the way, mm -hmm. to share knowledge so that it will relieve pain and suffering in others. Mm -hmm. That is the most pleasant thing I do in my life, to share the way mm -hmm. and try to follow the laws. Mm. If you don't abide to the rules and laws, that will be lots of pain and suffering. I want to just consider a little more externally what we can do to truly live a vibrant life. Co I love to cooperate with the uh, environment, mm. to keep the planet clean, you know, do your recycling. I love to walk in the street and sometimes I, I pick up garbage from the street and put it in a, in a garbage can. Mm -hmm. I like to cooperate and, and give an example you know, to others. Mm -hmm. To know a little bit about your story and how you came to this moment right now, how you ended up having a present day ashram really in New York City. It is a mystery. Little by little, I realize I don't know how and why I end up in this situation. I never thought to leave Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought to quit the Air Force that I love so much. But I have other things happening. My brother started yoga. Mm. And then in Brazil it's very difficult to be. The lifestyle there is very difficult. My brother invited me to come to the, to the United States. Mm. And then I met my guru here immediately. Mm. I was fascinated about reincarnation, about self-realization, about this, the stages of samadhi, about the yoga powers and also health. Mm. I was really sick before I came here. So mysteriously I end up here, met my guru, and then in 1975 I went by myself, opened the, the yoga center, and then that was really a success. Mm. I never had to worry about money, it just came mysteriously. And then in 1986 or so, for some reason, I got married too. And my wife, she helped me a lot to bring the yoga center where you find it today. <laughs>